me in tow because I keep, uh, I, I, anyways, uh, I'm off the show now, so. Uh, so the idea that we had was, and, and, and I think in, in, a, in a pretty cool way, I ended up kind of playing a little bit, but um, the idea that we pitched is that everything happened the exact same way, but when uh, Rick and Shane, as soon as, Rick, as soon as Shane talks to Lori and she tells him thank you, that's sort of everything that Shane wanted to hear from Lori by the windmill there. And then, um, but Shane still knows that he's got to get rid of this prisoner, Randall, to keep Carl and Lori and his unborn baby safe. So, uh, and, uh, so he's got to kill this prisoner. So he takes the prisoner out of the woods. He snaps his neck. He comes back. Same as the same exact thing that happened in the show. And um, you know, when I'm telling you this story, it's like I pitch it to the writer, so you've got to make as few changes as possible because you don't want them to have to do too much. But, so you keep it the exact same way, and then when Shane comes back and says the prisoner escaped, he and Rick go looking for the prisoner, the same thing that happened. Shane and Rick are looking in the woods for the prisoner. All of a sudden, Shane stops. Rick says, why are you stopping? we got to find the prisoner. Same as, it, same as what happened in the show, and Shane says, no, we don't. I killed the prisoner. I snapped his neck. It's what you should have done. And Rick says, what are you talking about? And Shane draws his gun, same as in the show, points his gun at Rick. And says, come on, be a man. You know, uh, I'm right here. Let's fight. Let's fight for Lord. Let's fight for Carl. I'm the father, all that kind of stuff. And as in the show, Rick takes his gun and says, I'm not going to fight you, man. You're my brother. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. And this is the first change. Instead of holding his gun out, he says, hey, look, you're going to have to shoot an unarmed man. And he throws his gun. This makes Shane go crazy. So Shane approaches Rick, puts the gun right up to Rick's face and says, you know, you've got a broken boy and a, a broken woman and a weak boy and all that stuff. And he really pushes and say something disgusting like, I know what your wife tastes like or something like that. To really, <laughs> to really push Rick to really, because he's really gone off the deep end and he's pushing him, he's pushing him, he's pushing him. And then Who as in that? what happened, Rick uh, stabs old Shane in the stomach and uh, he falls down on the ground. As Shane starts to reanimate into a zombie, he starts to get up. But now remember that change I said, Rick has thrown his gun. So when Shane starts to pop up as a zombie, Rick grabs Shane's gun, which is right there, and points it as Shane, at zombie Shane, and zombie Shane's coming towards Rick. And Rick points a gun at Shane and just goes click, click, click. Then out of nowhere, Carl blasts him. And Rick looks at the gun and he sees that the gun was never loaded. And so Shane brought Rick out of that woods to make him kill him. And uh, it's, they so did they that. have a half a boss. That's sort of like a. Uh, what's cool about it is I'm glad they did it the way they did because I think that all of that was sort of incorporated. And I really believe that um, Shane really didn't have it in him to, to, to kill Rick and to take Carl's father from him and take Lori's husband from him. And, and I think. You know, Shane got so far gone that there was a part of him that knew that he was really kind of becoming a cancer for the group and, and he had to be taken out. And, and uh, I don't think you point a gun at Rick Grimes unless you're ready to use it. So, uh, you know. <laughs> anyway, there, that's my alternate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how was it like working with all the zombies? How was it working with the zombies? Oh man, uh, I, look, I hate zombies, man. I, I, I'll be honest with you. Uh, um, I don't want you to think I'm like some douchey method actor, but like I, I, I spent so long running from them and trying to kill them that I think I just sort of ended up really hating them. I love the people that play zombies. You know, they're 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 great actors and they they work really hard. And you know, it's. Uh, the show would not be the show if it weren't for the level of amazing uh, talent from Greg Nicotero and the and the and the staff that that that, that make the zombies and the performers that play them. They're they're unbelievably committed and it's kind of cool, you know, sitting there and eating lunch with a bunch of zombies. You know what I mean? So uh, I love those guys, but I hate I, I hate zombies. <laughs> How would you like playing the badass on Walking Dead? <laughs> you know, man, I, it was cool. You know, it was. A, it, it's a. He, he's a great. He's a great character, and a, an honor to play him. You know, I. I, uh, I, 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 I love that role. I wanted. I wanted desperately to play that part. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm relatively new as an actor, and it was the first year. 
it was the first year for me where I had turned down other shows that I had got because I hadn't been able to audition for The Walking Dead, which is a pretty, um, pretty stupid risk as, a, as an actor. I would not suggest that if you, if you, if you're going into the field. But I, I told my agents that you know I, I had to try for this show because I'd never read anything like it, and, and uh, I'm glad that I did. Um, so it was an honor to play him, and I think what's so cool about that show is everyone there realizes how lucky they are to, to be there. There's no jerks on that show, and everybody realizes how, how special a story it is, and, and um, uh, it, was, it was the honor of, of, of my career so far to, to, to play Shane, and, and I, I loved it. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Well, what happened was, you know, like I said, I wanted desperately to be in this show, but I had not read the comic books. And then um, I, I fought and fought and fought to get that part, you know, like six auditions and, 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 and kept, kept fighting. And I kept hearing, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Then I finally got it. And they said, oh, by the way, it's based on this comic book. Hand me the comic book. I went home, cracked that sucker open, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> it was just good. You know, by the time it was like, you know, I was like, one, I ate like one sandwich. By the time the sandwich was done, he was dead. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm glad that they. I'm glad that they decided to. Let us <laughs> <laughs> uh, and for the walking talk we did do last night, they decided to keep uh, Lori around as a breeder. <laughs> <laughs> as a breeder. <laughs> wow. And then my question was, uh, um, for season two, when Shane starts losing his mind, yeah. did you? Or did you decide, or did the, everyone else decide for you to shave off your head after the incident? You know, it was something that uh, Frank, uh, Frank and I, Frank Darabont, the, the the original, you know, the creator of the of the show, um, we said from the beginning. You know, when I when I first auditioned for the show, I was like, a, you know, a long haired hippie man. I used to have hair down to here, and uh, well, I was auditioning for the show like that. And I remember at the screen test. Frank was like, oh wow, we could have used that on that, like I wish I had shot that, we could have used that take, and except then I would have killed myself for hiring a beach pirate as Shane. Because I had this crazy hair, and that's just, you know, kind of how I roll, you know, and, and uh, but, uh, you know, when we were trying to decide how he was going to look, I was like, oh, let's shave his, let's shave his head, let's make him, you know, super badass with a, you, you know, and, and, uh, and Frank was like, you know what, let's, let's work to that. And I, so I think right from the beginning, he sort of saw that there'd be an evolution. And it's really, uh, it's really cool as an actor when you get to go through a change, and then they give you the opportunity, opportunity to not only change internally, but make a physical change. And, and, and a haircut's a really easy way to do that. So it was, uh, I, I was really psyched for it. And it was, a, it was a real way of kind of like cementing the final change that's going on in this guy. Thank you. Thank you. John, my name is Sean. We actually had breakfast together a year and a half ago when you were out at the Amazing Comic Con. Oh, right on, man. <laughs> right on, look, I had Mal Print. We had breakfast together? Right, me, <laughs> you, and Robert, and... Oh, very Lisa. cool, man. <laughs> very cool, right on. And I guess the question that I had for you is, um, what are some of the subtle differences between working with Frank and working with Greg once he kind of took over? With Glenn? With Greg, with Greg Nicotero. Oh, what, the differences between working with... Working with, with uh, Darren Bond and then once all of a sudden he was... Well, Greg's not, you know, Greg didn't take uh, Frank's place, uh, Glenn did. Glenn, no, I'm sorry. Glenn, yeah. yeah, so are you asking about uh, Glenn, Frank and Glenn? Glenn? Yeah, yes. The subtle differences. <laughs> uh, shoot, man. I, you know, um... Man, could this question get me in trouble? <laughs> 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 Look, man, I only know how to be, you know, here's the thing, you know, I think that, uh, you know, Frank Garibond, look, he, he, he wrote and directed Shawshank Redemption, he, he, he uh, you know, he wrote and directed the, the, the Green Mile, you know, the next, you know, he, he's, uh, Frank Garibond is, is uh, you know, I mean, he's, I think he's one of, one of the best, he's one of the best filmmakers and writers uh, our country has. I think, um, I, I, I think that, you know, he, Frank, Frank brought everyone that is on the television show The Walking Dead to The Walking Dead. Um, so I think that, it, you know, it's really, especially with television, you know, the, 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 the creator, the showrunner, is really um, the entire kind of uh, 